Okay, hi folks. This is uh, Chuck Ma, and I just wanted to throw out this. Uh, I'm I am currently learning this song. Um, I um, we had a request to do this for a birthday party that we're going to be playing live here in a couple of weeks. So I, um, as I work this stuff out, sometimes I like to kind of pay it forward and share um, these a little bit. Um, and I j just as a disclaimer, I had picked this out actually up from uh, Marty Music, and I've I've gone ahead and, and compared the Marty guitar lesson to the um, various. Um, Fleetwood Mac videos I've seen. I think there might be a video out there or two of them actually playing this in, in standard tuning. Not quite sure th that though, but this does um, seem to be the accurate way to play this. So I just sort of wanted to share it with you guys in a kind of hopefully a condensed version. Um, so the first thing you'll notice is I have a, a capo on my second fret. Um, and we're just going to, for all intents and purposes, the way I've described it, we're going to just pretend that capo is not there and refer to this as the second fret. This is the first fret and so on. So there are there's a few different chord shapes being played with here. So this this one is like a D seventh. It's an open D. So it, this is down tuned down to D. The high E is tuned down to D. And it, the kind of main lick that kind of... Um, brings the intro in. It's based around a D7. So it looks it, and it sounds like something like this. And, you know, it is finger picked. Um, right. Um, so there's that. And then there's the, the other lick. That, that's basically did the D7 chord picked um, and just kind of work that out however you feel like you need to. And the other lick is... You know, from the first fret on the on the um, B string to the third. So, does that for I think about four times, something like that. Just listen to what you'll figure it out. Um, and then they kind of just uh, the lead into the verse is a lick that goes something like. Or um, make the You can look at this. This goes up to uh, what would be like considered the fifth fret now, um, and it is just a, basically a G. But you're not playing. You're not. You're, you're not playing that um, second note. It's just the, the shape is just what you want to kind of keep in mind. So. It's like a G to a G seventh. Right? Okay. Now this next one is kind of um, almost sort of... If you look at it, if you break it down, I'm not going to get too into that right now just because... But it is basically, this is like, again, a, a, a D seventh kind of a chord. You've got your... You've got your D up here, or actually your, um, I guess that would be an E now. But anyway, so, uh, but you have this, if you notice, it is kind of uh, like that same shape that we started off with, except now you're up here. Um, but your notes are going to be basically... Um, your 10th fret on this string, on the G, you're going to have your 9th, or excuse me, on the G, you're going to have your 11th, and on the B string, you're going to have your 12th fret, so, and that's the shape, so I want to kind of make sure you guys can see that chord there, um, that, that is um, 12, on the, on the G, it is 11, on the B, it is 12, so it's... And then back to that, back to the year or so. Um,
right? So that's essentially the verse part of that song. Uh, it's not real complicated. Um, I'll give you the chord shapes again. Uh, the, D, the D seventh. The uh, G kind of shape. And then this um, almost a seven sort of shape again, but it's essentially like it's a, a 12, 11, and 12 on the low E or um, the 11th on the G and the 12th on the B. And then just moves down a whole step. Um, again, because of the tuning, not even sure what you would uh, really call this. I guess this would be a, actually be an A and a... Um, and let me see here. It's all kind of based around the D chord, and I don't know any other way to kind of tell you to, to break that down for you other than that. Um, so, I'm just going to keep this private. <laughs> 